In this cost minor video tutorial, we will leverage the standard rates feature to simplify the estimating process and make it easier to update the calculations should the pricing change. In cost minor, we can define the reusable standard rates and look them up while creating estimates. The standard rates can be thought of as positions in a price list. First, I'm going to create a rate for sanding and repainting an internal door. I will base that composite rate on the rates for the labor and individual materials. I'm going to the lookups module and selecting the standard rates lookup list. I'm pressing the new rate button to create my first rate, which is going to be labor. I will be able to use this rate in my estimate later or include it into other rates. I need to select the rate type, which can be labor, material, or composite. The unit of measure for labor is hours. The last piece of information to enter is the rate value itself. The second rate is for a material. The unit of measure for the primer is liter. Now I will enter another material rate. Let's define the composite rate for door renovation. I start creating them as usual, but then I choose composite for the rate type. The unit will be each. Now I need to look up and quantify the individual item that constitute my composite rate. We need to apply primer a couple of times and then paint the door twice. I expect that to take about three hours in total. I'm adding three hours of labor and the required amount of primer and enamel. I only need to select the rate names and quantities, and the system will bring up their units and rates and calculate the totals. I will also need to sand the door before applying the primer, so I'm adding another half an hour of labor for that task. Now, I realize that I want to include sandpaper in the estimate, but there is no rate for this material yet. I can add the missing rate without leaving the composite rate editor. As you can see, the system has calculated the total rate for door renovation. I'm saving the item. Now, let's use the rate to estimate a job. In addition to renovating, I want to replace a few doors as well. Let's start with renovation. I'm selecting the rate we've created earlier and the system populates description, type, unit, and rate automatically. I want to give my items a slightly different name.
Let's add some items for installing the new door. I pick the labor rate and enter the amount of time required to remove the old door frames. There are three doors to remove and each will take half an hour, so I put three in the quantity column and set factor to 0.5. I do not have a rate for installing a new door, but there is no need to go back to the lookups module to create it because I can define new rates right from the estimate. I'm entering the composite rate components and create the missing nested rates as I go. The new rate is already in the estimate. I'm just giving a name to the last item. Entering the quantity and the estimate is ready. This is the quote for our new job. Let's check out another report which gives us a completely different view of the same estimate. It's called Shopping List. Here the system went through all the items and brought up all the labor and materials we used. For instance, we can see that we will need 3.5 liters of paint in total for both new and repainted doors. Let's see what happens if we change one of the rates. I'm repricing the labor. I'm going back to the estimate. As you can see, the existing items were not affected. To apply the new rates to the job, I press the Update Rates button. I confirm my request, and the system recalculates the estimate. Let's open one of the headings. 
Here we can see that both the labor rate and the composite rate based on it have changed. To find out more about CostMiner, please go to www.costminer.com.